Okay guys, what's up? This is my first time doing the video on here, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown on my daily driver, the 2012 Chevy Sonic. It's an LT, 1.8 liter, 5 speed manual. Um, overall, this car stock, you know, it's, it's intended to be what it is. It's a daily driver, you know, good on gas. Um, it's pretty much about it. I have the hatchback version, so it's four doors. Um, give you a quick rundown of what I've done, what I have done to it. Um, I'm not keeping it for long. I'll have it probably for like another five, six months. But yeah, let's jump into it. All right. So when I first got it, you know, I felt like the front brakes were a little, you know, eh, iffy. So I went ahead, got some power stop slotted drilled rotors. As you can see there. They're all right for what they are. Got the ceramic pads with them. The thing that does suck about this car is it has disc in the front, drums in the back. You can see there. It has some Goodyear Eagle LS2s on it. They're not too bad. Like I said, it is a four door, so you know. Back. You got the power windows, all black interior. Pretty decent leg room in the back. Definitely got the rain guards. Helps out a lot. So we've got all these things here. Windows, windows, window lockout, power mirrors. And when you get in the car, you got the automatic lights there. Dash illumination control there. You got the whole gauge set up. All right, so we got that. I do have 82,000 miles on it, and I've only had it for a year now. So I bought it at 45,000 miles, so I've put some miles on it. So I've had some time to actually drive it, you know, feel how it feels. Five speed. No navigation, unfortunately. Power locks, AC, so on. I mean, like I said, it's not too bad for what it is. It is a little slow. You know, 1.8 liter, I think it's only pushing like 140 horsepower. So, I mean, like I said, it's an economy car. It's meant to get gas. Alright, so the thing I did like about it was was the clutch pedal itself is actually not too bad. It engages fairly quick for what it is. Auxiliary light is there. I also like how you have in here you have the an auxiliary cord and another USB charger. Go check it out. I did do some minor mods to it. You know, I got the slot engine rotors in the front, tinted it out, got the rain guards. And with the DC sports muffler on it, it doesn't sound too bad for what it is. Got a two and a half inch outlet on the back. You know, like I said, bar can. It does sound good though. Maybe I can try to get it so you guys can hear it. So, most of my videos are going to end up being, you know, do-it-yourselves, you know, there's going to be a couple car videos, maybe my friend, I'll get my, some of my friends over, a couple of them have some pretty decent cars, my friend, my one friend has the 2013 BRZ, the premium edition, so he has all the cool flip gauges and stuff there, um, I've helped him drop the cold air intake in there for him, it's full uh, cat back exhaust on there, um, and then once I get the Genesis, I'll be doing stuff with that, so, Definitely stay, stay tuned with my channel. Go ahead and subscribe to it if you like it. Go ahead and hit a like on the video. Um, my next video is going to be coming up probably on Sunday or Monday. I'll do spark plug change in here for you guys. So you guys have a little, you know, a little better concept of what's going on. You know, like I said, it's going to be, it's going to be a multitasking 
video vlog for you guys. But yeah, there you go. That's going to be it, you guys. See you in the next video.